Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th annual Fargo Marathon and again welcome to our annual look at the course. It's a video preview which is I think really important for the out-of-towners. I'm Jeff Kopak. I've covered the race all 14 years. Pleased to be joined by the executive director all 14 years, Mark Knutson. Yeah. Welcome. Well, glad to be here. Thank you. We're getting kind of routine at this. Yeah, at we can course. do this in our sleep, I think, if we, if, well, I shouldn't say that. But, yeah. yeah. What do you think is important for a runner to get a video preview of it? I think it mentally sets you up to really run, I think, a good performance. Yeah, I think so. I, you know, it's, it's nice to see kind of the terrain. Obviously, we talk about how flat it is here, but when you see it on video, you really get a feel for it. And, uh, and you know, some of the twists and turns. We got a lot of trails this year for everybody. Uh, I, I really think it's nice just to, to kind of review it. You slow it down, watch it as many times as you want, and, and like you said, just kind of get ready for the race day. Well, let's get to it. Let's get to the course, and it'll be speeded up here, obviously, a little bit because of time, but it'll give you a good idea of what to look for. First of all, the expo and everything is in the shack. Yeah, Sanford Health Athletic Complex. So if you're used to going to the Dome, uh, you can go to the Dome, park in the lot, but mm -hmm. then the shack is uh, is just to the north of there, about a half a block over on 17th Avenue. So. And here's the start. We go north on University Drive. We're heading into North Fargo now on 25th Avenue North. This has relatively been unchanged over yeah. the years. Yeah, we've, we've kept this North Fargo loop, uh, gosh, I, I can't remember how many years now, probably six, seven years in a row. And uh, as you and I have talked, this is, a, this is a great way to start this race. And, you know, you, you north side guys up there, you know how nice it is up there. And, and uh, for us, us living out in uh, West Fargo, South right. Fargo, we love it up here. So um, great trees, great crowd support, uh, really nice mature neighborhoods, uh, really well developed here. And you head north first right away. And I think part of that too, sometimes if there's a north wind, that can be a hindrance. As you can see, there's plenty of coverage here with the mature trees and the neighborhoods and the just residential look of it. Yeah, yeah, and again, you know, like I said, there's great crowd support throughout this entire race, uh, in, in North Fargo is no exception. Uh, here we're at 32nd Avenue and, and uh, you know, making our way east and, and uh, you know, we talked about how flat it is. You can see, I, I don't know, we haven't really seen a hill yet, so, oh, well, maybe there was a little bump there. Cars will, <laughs> cars will not be a problem there. Nope. This is a, no. a very early look at, the look of the course, and there's some twists and turns here, but you said it's flat. And at this stage of the race, what are you trying to do if you're a runner? Just get your pace, get your rhythm? Ease into things a little bit. And, and uh, another reason, you know, kind of why I like the North Fargo piece is, is just for that, for that purpose. Right. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty quiet, you know, in terms of the, uh, the, um, the scenery. It's, it's just really calm, kind of spread things out here a little bit. Marathoners get, uh, get to take off on their own. They'll eventually kind of match up with the, uh, the 10K, but we split them so they're not, you know, they're not racing against 10 Kers. And, so Fargo likes to rock. How many bands we have this year? <laughs> you know, every year it just keeps growing. Uh, last time I counted, there were over 60 this year, 60 bands and wow. DJs. So uh, I'm running out of homes. <laughs> I got more bands than I have homes. So, uh, but yeah, here we're, we're coming down Peterson, uh, coming up on mile four. And, a little and, gentle curve. Yeah, just really great stuff here. And, and you know, it's, it was, I was a little worried we wouldn't have any leaves this year with the late winter we've had. But uh, after this weekend, I, I, think, uh, I think we'll see lots of greenery out here uh, come race day. For those of you from across the country, yes, it was a late spring, but the snow is gone. So yeah. we will, uh, and <laughs> no, there's no God. flooding either. So there's no flooding. And actually Fargo now is pretty well flood proof to a pretty yeah. good level. So yep. unlike uh, if there's stories you've heard from 09 or back in those days, uh, that that is not gonna be an issue. No, no, boy, that was a test. So 09, we, we all remember that one, uh, the double loop course. So no double loops this year. And, and uh, well, here we are, we're, we're up in the Woodcrest area, yeah, easing in to uh, about a fifth of the way into the race now. So. You're at mile five, and when you talk about the leaders here, this is, uh, I cover the lead pack for the TV side of things. 
And this is still where there's a, usually a pretty good pack of elite runners. And you yeah. don't see separation until really not quite some time. Yeah, yep, yep, no doubt. Uh, everybody just kind of getting their pace here. And and, uh, and they, you know, the leaders like to run with each other. You know, they, they, they like to pace each other a little bit here and, and uh, probably won't see uh, anybody trying to break away until uh, the last 10 miles of the race. How is the elite field setting up? Any idea yet? I know there's always additions and training and yep. some people pull in. Yeah. And somebody, you know, yeah, they tend late, to, yeah, late. yeah, they tend to kind of wait until right. you know this week, the you know two weeks out from the race, and then they, they make their decision. But uh, Semihar Tesfaye is coming back for uh, the, the defending. Boy, women's she killed camp. it last year. Yeah, day. yeah, two years in a row now, so she'll be back, and and uh, I think we'll we'll all be happy with that. And um, but yeah, they, I think the field looks pretty solid this We're year. We're coming up on a new section of the course here. We went through Trufoil Park here last year. And as you can see, it's uh, it's back by the river a little bit. Uh, really, I think a serene part of the course. If you will. Yeah, yeah, really good spot here, and, and this is that trail, and, and here we're coming underneath the uh, the bridge. Um, and this is new. We're going across yep. 12th Avenue. Yep. So in, into Moorhead now, and Minnesota for all you. Yep geography majors yeah. out there. We get our, our two-state course here. But yeah, instead of uh, instead of using the footbridge in Oak Grove Park, we're now going through uh, south or north Moorhead here. Uh, we'll eventually take a right down 9th Street and, and go down south on 9th Street and, and back into the trail. But uh, get to go right by the uh, Moorhead Police Department there to your yeah. left. And Feel great, safe. great supporters of the event. Moorhead Police uh, just do an excellent job of, uh, of locking down uh, the Moorhead side of things. So, Well, for that matter, too, you've had Dave Bow all these years. And yep. just the Fargo Police Department, too, has yeah. been tremendous. It just, you know, you, you couldn't do it without the support of these people and fire departments and, and everybody. And uh, here we'll... we'll Loop There's around, path, uh, yeah. yeah. Loop around Usher's house there in Moorhead, and then we and then we jump on the path into uh, this is affectionately known as Yemcombst Park path, I guess, and the Viking Ship uh, Trail, and and uh, all the, the scenery back here is is great. Um, Moorhead Parks does a great job. Steve Moore Public Works uh, uh, in Moorhead does an excellent job of making sure their uh, their side is all done. So. For a lot of runners in the local Fargo Mart area, this is prime training ground here. Yep. So um, it's a well used path, well worn, well well known. Yeah, really, well known. Right. Yeah, there's and the, the there's the Viking ship. So if you're looking for something to do for our <laughs> tourists, stop so. stop in and take a look at the Viking ship, then get back on the marathon right. course. It'll take you a couple of minutes. But um, still in Moorhead here, Moorhead, Minnesota. You have uh, Crystal Sugar over there. They'll have a big cheer station out uh, as you're running through and. Now we've uh, we've just come on underneath the Veterans Memorial Bridge, which is an iconic piece of uh, of mm -hmm. uh, our community, and of course the race as well. And we'll make our way over here to uh, to College Land, to uh, to uh, the two uh, colleges in Minnesota, both uh, Minnesota State University Moorhead and Concordia College. The course actually touches three. You start on the campus in North Dakota State. Yep. You go into Moorhead. You go into Concordia College. I think you said Minnesota State Moorhead, and they've uh, done a great job, I think, of supporting the Absolutely. race over the years. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. The, moving, you know, Concordia has always been a fixture, and then what was it, about four years ago, I guess, we, we ended up going into uh, to MSUM, and, and uh, they've done a great job. The president's well. a marathon. Yeah, and she's a marathon Lakers. runner. She qualified for Boston she at the Fargo qualify. Marathon. Wow. And, yep. So there's the MSUM campus. You'll run through a quick little loop uh, through the main mall there and around their uh, their uh, library and, and then back out to 7th Avenue and, and headed west and, and, and on to the next campus. I guess NDSU President Dean Brashani better start training. I guess, you know, really we might have pace. to have that presidential yeah. challenge here. We are still in more heading, heading now down where we Concordia College. Yep. Get back. Yep. So jump into Concordia here. Of course, we have to do the loop around the bell tower in Concordia. Yep, that's, and a, then that's a staple. Make your way back out, and and uh, and then this is a little different piece from last year. Last year we took them back to Veterans Memorial Bridge and, and made our way back into Fargo. This year we're gonna we're gonna we're hang a left south. here. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, this is a great, great stretch of road too. This is uh, kind of the River Shore Drive area in South Moorhead, and and uh, as you can see, really nice scenic on the right. There is the uh, Red River. And it used to be houses on the right. Yeah, there are many yeah. buyouts. Part of our so flood buyout. Flood from, buyouts. But uh, again, very flat. And and what's nice now is eventually we'll we'll work our way into Gooseberry Park, which 
which uh, it's just really a smooth run. It's, it's nice to get a lot of park, and I think that's the nice thing about our yeah. course. We've got a great mix of residential. We get the downtown feel. Right. We get some good trails in the parks, and of course, we've got the Fargo Dome, so. Mile 14 here, I think, is where, okay, if you're gonna make a move as the elite runners, you, you might see it around this point in the yeah. race. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You might uh, you might start to see some breakaway. Of course, uh, you know you think of like Semihar for the last couple of years. I think she was out on her she own. She broke away at the starting five. gun, yeah. didn't she? <laughs> yeah. So there's Gooseberry Park, and and eventually we come to that footbridge and and into Lindenwood Park, and Lindenwood Park will take that trail. Uh, Again, a, a well used trail that yeah. a lot of runners. And a great use of our foreign communications drone. Yeah, no kidding. That's yeah. uh, fantastic. That's great. But yeah, here we are in the wide bike trail. Path. Nice yep. wide. This will be great. I think the runners will really enjoy uh, that mix of scenery and and uh, as we make things our won't more. be as brown. Well, they're actually greening up a little bit there, but yep. it's it's going to be perfect conditions. Boy, it looks like a nice day when the, when yeah. we did this video here. So. Weather can play a factor. It can be a little cool sometimes. Yep. You never know, but just like any marathon. Yeah, yeah. We'll take a look Boston at Boston this year. Yeah, Boston, boy. Knock on wood, we don't have one of those days in, yep. uh, in Fargo. But, but again, still still relatively flat. Um, you will come as we as we get to the to the dike wall in uh, in Fargo here. You will actually come to the the first big hill of. The of right. the race and uh, here it is we're coming up that big hill and you uh, see downtown Fargo on the distance there oh there we go and all it's right. over all there. right that's it <laughs> there's your hill work for now the we day. get to go downhill again so now we're, we're gonna turn now we're heading south this is on 4th Street South in Fargo and you're coming up to I think one of the best parts as far as fan participation is yep. the A Street and in, in, in that in that area yeah, yeah, you know, you, you hit it right on the head in terms of, of music, in terms of uh, the course parties and people out cheering. Eighth uh, and Ninth Street. Uh, this is just a this is just a key, Go back there. key There's part. WDAY to the right. So wave to all the text <laughs> people that are helping one of our, us on. One of our great supporters and sponsors. So yeah, here here the trees. when those trees the canopy but out. Yeah, I mean it, it could be raining and you won't even know right. it on the street. So. Lots know, of bands here. Yeah, I know Like some people along the street, they love it because it's the only day of the year that the noise ordinance is enforced <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. So, uh, again, thanks to the police department for maybe overlooking that little ordinance. Yeah, no, it, uh, it, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good way to kick off uh, summer. This is the oldest part of Fargo. Yep. This is the first residential area. And again, still, uh, for those who are, are looking for those hills, we really haven't nope. seen them yet, and, and you really won't, so. Mile 19. I I put the, a marathon into two races, the first 20 and the last six. <laughs> yeah. So as you're coming up 19 into 20, then I think you, you reach 20 and go, all right, how am I? Yeah. Can I make yeah. a little surge here, or do yep. I need to hold back, or how am I feeling? Yeah. Yeah, it's always you know the proverbial hit the wall uh, yeah. section here, and and uh, some people hit it and get through it. Other people, gosh, you know, I've hit it many times in my life and did the uh, did the run walk for the last the last six miles. But yep. now we're heading straight. north, so now you're actually <laughs> heading toward the Fargo Dome. Via, we'll go down through downtown Fargo here shortly. But again, another older section of Fargo. Trees just are are. It's serene again. I mean, yeah. the fans will be loud, but I just, uh, it gives you a feel of, uh, I think, a little history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great stretch here. Um, 9th Street, come up to the uh, to the courthouse in a minute here, and then, like you said, make our way to downtown. So. I've seen several elite runners that when I've covered it from the elite car, okay, this is where I'm gonna make a dash for the win here. Make that surge, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, and it's amazing, you know, they can be, they can just hammer 20 miles and then that last 10K, yeah. man, they put it in the next gear and, and yep. they really go, so. As now we're on 10th Street, we're going to a railroad bridge, another little oh, hill little here, Little hill, watch say. out, yep. yep, so. And now we're heading into downtown Fargo. And this is a pretty neat feel, you start to see that Cityscapes building and yep. you come up to Broadway and, and uh, you really, really get a neat, uh, neat understanding of uh, what downtown Fargo uh, looks like. People will be following along too. They follow along. They, they know who's leading. Oh you know, yeah. There's people yep. with uh, watching the telecast. There'll be a lot of people out here uh, having a coffee, uh, right. eating some donuts at Sandy's, and watching the race here. So. 
heading down to a, another flood wall here, Second Street. Yeah, it's nice. This is now completed. You know, last right. year at this time there was still a lot of construction happening, and uh, the city did a great job, I think, of cleaning that area up. And you have what, 15 aid stations along the way? 15 out there, so you should not run out of water or power aid, and uh, three medical dropout points. Right. So if you're feeling like you just can't make it, or something happens along the way and you get hurt, you're gonna. If you're a first timer, don't miss them. Don't yep. don't wait till you're thirsty. Yeah. That's uh, don't wait till and don't overdress. I mean, I know it's Fargo. Yeah. But sometimes there's a tendency to overdress. Oh gosh, I mean, I see people that take off and they're wearing jackets and pants, and it's 50 degrees, and you go, that's you're in trouble. I think the best tip I ever got, if it's a little cool in the morning, find a sweatshirt you can just throw away. Yep. Yep. And after a mile, if you just once you a little warm up. Yep. It's about what it takes. Right. You get. Yep. Yeah, and we'll have people that go out and pick up the course for us, so you know, don't don't worry well about littering. So. Okay, mile twenty-four. Or we're we heading. We're heading north right now. Final stretch here. Right. Yep. The dome is in the Avenue. distance. Yep. You can kind of feel it. This is where uh, we get some huge, uh, huge support in terms of music and crowd. They know this yeah. is the last mile, and yep. And, and if this were the Kentucky Derby, it's down the stretch they yeah. come right here. Finishing the dome, that's not many marathons do that. Finishing no, the Fargo dome. no, gosh, I tell you what, we're, we're just so blessed to have that dome facility in, uh, in this event. And you know, whether it's cold day, warm day, it's just a great feeling. You know, you come in there and it's, it's got that uh, uh, kind of yeah. rock star feel. You know, take a right, go around. And the fans are really cheering out because the, the, the PA system, yep. the PA announcers, music they, they blaring know what's going from on. here. And there you have it. There you have a look at the course. What do you like about the course, Mark? Uh, you know, I hit on it earlier. It's 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 a great mix of, of residential neighborhoods, park trail system, the downtown feel, which is really neat, and then of course the start and finish in the Fargo Dome is is incomparable. So it's great. You're gonna have all the amenities, all the assistance you'll need. We hope you enjoy your experience. We hope you enjoy the weekend. And as usual, we'll see you on race day.